identifying feature is that silver stripe on mm -hmm. the leaf. And um, that with the lime green color mm -hmm. are just very good identification features for the Japanese still grass. Yes. Okay, it does look like a number of yeah. native species, uh, one of which is, this is, cross, huh? uh, is actually smartweed when it is not in flower. Okay, oh. is the oh, pelagonum. Oh, so this is not. This is, this is, oh, this is confusing. Mm. This is, okay, here's, here's a good example. I mean, here's the oh, flower wow. of, the, of the smart weed right there. Okay, so this but is if you don't have the flower of the smart weed, oh, okay. okay, the smart weed has the silver stripe down the middle of the leaf. But if you look at smart weed, it has joints, it has these joints on the stem. Uh, actually, they're called, uh, technical words, ocrii, but kind of these joints on the stem with bristles coming out of that oh, yeah. little joint right there. Okay, uh, that distinguishes it right away from Japanese still grass. Okay, this is not a grass at all, of course. Uh, this is a wildflower in the knotweed family. I, I don't see the little thing that you're talking about on this one. Okay, that's a little one, but if you look right there, you see there's a joint, kind yes, of a joint okay, so with bristles, with bristles. Oh, there are bristles there? Little bristles. I need, I need my reading glasses. Okay, <laughs> yes. there are little bristles coming out of it. So anyway, yes, the, people... Native. Oh, well, this yeah, is yeah. actually not native. This is a smart weed, but it's not Japanese still grass. Okay. That's the point I'm making. Do they tend to grow together? They often grow they together. Often. They oh. often grow together. The still grass is a grass, okay? It doesn't have showy flowers. Um, it Any loses. flowers? Uh, yeah, all plants do have flowers, but this one flowers very, very late. It won't flower until mid-August, approximately. So we're not even seeing the flowers yet. And what color are the flowers? The flowers, I mean, it's a, it's a grass, it's an inconspicuous, uh, you know, a spike of very small, little flowers. It's sort of an inconspicuous grass-like flower. Okay. So white, green? Uh, they're kind of whitish, okay. whitish. Not the pink, because I've seen the pink stuff all over. Okay, what did you call no, it it's nothing like that. This is? The pink stuff, this is a non-native species, not a, uh, called smartweed. Smart and this, smart is, this is smartweed, right? This that is smartweed. Again, yeah, you have that joint. Yeah. You have, you see that little joint, I'm calling it, yeah. Yeah. with those bristles coming out right that. there. So, so that makes sense. Now, this sort of has some bristles. Too. Yeah, that's the smartweed. Oh, oh, I'm no, sorry. No, this is the silkgrass. This is silkgrass. So it's got bristles, but, but not this as has much, got, not as No, this has more got hairs, not sort of lengthy okay. bristles. So okay. some okay. hairs. Okay. But again, look at the difference in the roots. If you're not, uh, if you need more confirmation, look at the still grass roots. Okay, these prop-like roots that are very weak, and the, it pulls right out of the ground. If you were to pull a knotweed, that's okay. I want the uh, yeah. The knotweed is much harder to pull out of the ground. It has a more lengthy and more fibrous root system. Okay. Just generally has a tougher root system. Roots like roots to me, yeah. Yeah, but this is it for the silk grass, and these are just about on the surface. All right, so that's the 